everyone. Guess where we are? Well, we're about to leave Waterloo and we're on Heritage Service A. And I thought I'd do this little video on a nice cold December day in London town. We're just leaving Waterloo Station and we're on board Routemaster RML 2290 on our way to Trafalgar Square. Heading along York Road, alongside Waterloo Station. So this is York Road with Waterloo Station on our left. Just on the right is the road that gives access to the London Eye. The building that's coming up on the right hand side, that used to be the old LCC County Hall. That's the rear end of County Hall, which used to be the head office of the London County Council and the Greater London Council until 1986. Now straight ahead where this illuminated advert is, that used to be the site of the old Waterloo International Station, which was host to the Eurostar services from Brussels and Paris until 2007. It's now actually part of the Waterloo mainline station where you can get trains from Waterloo out to Windsor and Reading. The tunnel to the left is actually Westminster Bridge Road so that's where the 159 route and the 12 route head towards the likes of Elephant and Castle and Kennington. Instead of turning left, we do a right turn at these traffic lights towards Westminster Bridge. Straight in front of us is St Thomas's Hospital, the most central London hospital, where it's a 24-hour hospital with um, accident and emergency facilities. going to be turning right towards Westminster Bridge. A few Boris monsters coming into the shop. So now we're heading directly west towards Westminster Bridge. On the right hand side is the old stone lion which used to be outside Waterloo Station. That line being the official emblem of Waterloo Station. And now we're about to cross over Westminster Bridge. With the House of Parliament just visible on the other side, all in, shrouded in fog. Westminster Bridge being where London's last tram ran across in July 1952. All the way from the Victoria Embankment out to Woolwich. So this is Westminster Bridge, which we'll be crossing over very shortly. And we're off. So as you can see, it's a foggy old day in London town. It's quite a frosty one as well. Frost and fog, they call it frog. We are crossing over Westminster Bridge, which divides the London Borough of Lambeth on the eastern side, with the city of Westminster on the western side. So on our left is part of the House of Parliament, and also the base of the Elizabeth Tower, which houses Big Ben, which is the main bell that chimes the bongs every hour. But everybody refers to the tower as Big Ben, but it's actually the name of the bell, not the name of the tower. Now on the right hand side is Portcullis House, which is also part of the Houses of Parliament. There's a series of tunnels that go underneath that connect the Houses of Parliament to Portcullis House for the MPs to walk through without having to cross the main road here. 
Also on the right hand side, just behind the traffic lights, is Victoria Embankment, which links Westminster with Blackfriars in the city. And also there's a secret entrance from Westminster Underground Station for the MPs to travel from Westminster Underground Station into the House of Parliament without having to cross Bridge Street, which is this road here. So now we're coming up to Parliament Square. So from here, RML 2290 will do the shot. Yep, we're going to do the right turn. Right turn Clyde. Passing Westminster Underground Station. Now we're right on the bottom end, which is now Parliament Street. We've got two red GPO K6 telephone boxes to our left. Straight ahead in the middle of the screen is the Cenotaph, which is a memorial to all the soldiers, sailors and airmen who were killed in both world wars. So this spot in Westminster is actually the heart of the British government. photographer with us. Smile! And we're heading off. One happy photographer there. So on the left hand side we have the HM Treasury and the HMRC buildings. Coming up to the Cenotaph right now. Also on the left coming up, just behind these black steel gates is the entrance to Downing Street, home of the Prime Minister, Chancellor of the Exchequer and of course Larry the Cat. Now coming up to the bus stop just before Horse Guards Parade. So all these buildings here are all the heart of the Ministry of Defence and other government buildings along Whitehall. So stopping here because we're a bit early, we've got another photographer with us. A Boris Monster passing on Route 12. building on the right with these two couplers on it, this building just here on the right, that used to be the old Ministry of Agriculture. A few years ago that's been sold, the government sold that building off so it's going to be a hotel or some luxury apartments or other. And we're off again. So Horse Guards Parade is on the left hand side. We've got the two sentry boxes where the soldiers on horseback stand from 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're now coming up towards Trafalgar Square where Nelson's column is directly in front of us and behind Nelson's column can be seen the National Gallery. On the left is the Trafalgar Theatre, where they're playing Jersey Boys. So we're coming up to the southern side of Trafalgar Square. famous bronze lions straight in front four large bronze lions guarding the columns so in a minute we're going to be doing a left turn at this roundabout into Coxburgh Street So 
this is Coxburgh Street, you've got Canada House on the right hand side with the national flag of Canada with the maple leaf. So this is Coxburgh Street which is the southwestern corner of Trafalgar Square. It's amazing how quiet London is without the traffic. So this is the bus stop for Trafalgar Square on Coxburgh Street. This point is where the blinds are going to be changed because unfortunately we're not running through to Piccadilly Circus on this day. This is due to the lower side, lower end of Regent Street being closed for roadworks. So unfortunately Heritage Route A on this day is actually running only between Waterloo and Trafalgar Square with the route not running to Piccadilly Circus. heard the news at Piccadilly Circus, we might be going up to Piccadilly Circus, so this will be good, hopefully. So we're going to have a look around, have a look up Lower Regent Street just to see if it's opened up. Now this part of Trafalgar Square was actually served by route masters up until December 2005 when you still had route masters on the 159 route which was the last route in London to have route master buses in normal service until 9th of December 2005. Normally this part of Coxborough Street is a lot more busier but as it's a nice quiet Sunday morning Traffic is flowing nicely. And we're about to head off, and here we go. Into the flow of traffic, gearbox clips in, and we're off. So on the right hand side we've got the junction with Haymarket. We're turning from Coxworth Street into Pall Mall itself. This is Pall Mall straight ahead. 
iconic London taxi in front of us. And it looks like the road's still closed. Or is it closed? Who knows? Well, yeah, we will. Lower Regent streets are still closed, so we're going on a little diversion. We're going into Pall Mall, which is not normally served by this route. This is Pall Mall, where all the exclusive clubs are. All the exclusive old boys clubs are all along the streets, like the RAC club and the RAF club. So we're heading west along Pall Mall which is a rare treat for you guys because we don't normally go down this road and coming up on the left we'll be going past St James's Palace which was originally the residence of Prince Charles when he was the Prince of Wales of course now he's the King of the United Kingdom so that's St. James's Palace that we're passing on the left, along with its residential quarters. So we're now turning from, oh, we're turning back onto Pall Mall. We're turning back on ourselves. So we're heading back east along Pall Mall. very rare treat to you all because we don't normally run along Pall now. only the eastern bit at the Trafalgar Square end. That's the ROC club we're passing on the right. So we're heading back in the direction of Trafalgar Square. filming units going on. So to the left is Lower Regent Street and to the right is Waterloo Place. So now we're heading directly back towards Trafalgar Square which will be the northern side passing a couple of K6 telephone boxes on our left. We're coming up to the junction of Haymarket, which is a street just off the shot on the left. There's one of the two bus buses passing by on a sightseeing tour. So straight in the centre of the picture is the National Gallery. going back on ourselves now towards Trafalgar Square but instead of going into Coxburg Street we're going in straight on into Pall Mall East and going into the western side of Trafalgar Square that way. We're going crossing over from Pall Mall into Pall Mall East which is this street here. on the right. So we'll be turning back onto the roundabout at the southern end of Trafalgar Square. passing by on the 453 route there, bound for Deptford, Senate Delights of Deptford. On the 
right as the uh, Admiralty pub, which is undergoing the refurbishments. hand side is the Strand which goes past Charing Cross Station and that takes you to the city. On the right is Northumberland Avenue which takes you down to the River Thames. We are doing the left turn back into the northern end of Whitehall. So this is back on the northern end of Whitehall. Got the Silver Cross pub on the left typical London pub. Boris Monster passing by in an all over advert livery for British Airways. And that blue, yellow and blue, red and white livery which looks really nice. So on the left hand side you've got the Silver Cross pub. And then we're coming back down onto Whitehall. This building on the left is a former Ministry of Agriculture building, passing Whitehall Place. And then on the other side of the street is Horse Guards Parade, with its sentry boxes. Coming up on the left is Banqueting House. Building just tucked behind the trees on the left, that's the Ministry of Defence. Now approaching the Cenotaph in the middle of Whitehall. And now we're approaching the southern end of Whitehall where it becomes Parliament Street at the junction with Parliament Square with the Church of St Margaret's on the right and just behind, shrouded in fog, is Westminster Abbey itself. Straight in front of us is LT852. One of the 1,000 new Bus for London vehicles which were built between 2012 and 2018. This is one of the Go Ahead London General ones, which is based at New Cross Bus Garage. New Cross Bus Garage, which operates Route 453. When Route 453 was introduced back in 2005, it was originally a, one of the ill-fated Bendy bus routes, which ran in London. Uh, Bendy buses not being a very popular vehicle in London. Certainly not when they replace the route masters on various routes in central London. You just see our reflection in the rear windows of the LT. Passing Westminster Station to our left. Houses of Ar House of Parliament. Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower, Portcullis House on the left, along with the main entrance to Westminster Underground Station. How's about that for a picture? The new bus for London and the Underground logo. The new bus for London and the Underground Ground Wall. Two iconic sites to see in central London, so whenever you're in London, you're never far away from one of these. Westminster Station being on the District Line, Circle Line and Jubilee Line. Now we're about to cross over Westminster Bridge again, this time we're crossing from west to east. All the buildings on the South Bank all shrouded in fog. So we've got a view of County Hall there, and the London Eye. 
better view of County Hall there. And St Thomas's Hospital on the right. There's the famous Waterloo Lion. Don't forget the Waterloo Lion. So now we're on the eastern side of Westminster Bridge. So this is Westminster Bridge Road. So now we're in Lambeth. Lambeth. Another famous London taxi, black taxi in front of us. Passing the London Waterloo Hilton Hotel on the left hand side. on the right hand side on the 453 got this gaudy illuminated advert here at Waterloo Station two taxis and an Enviro 400 on route 381 down to Peckham Itself, the eastern side of Waterloo Station coming up on the left hand side. London Waterloo Station built by the London and South Western Railway, which serves all the suburban railway lines from London to the South West London and Surrey suburbs as well as express services out to the likes of Portsmouth, Southampton, Bournemouth and Weymouth and Exeter. So coming on to, on to the um, under, under point canopy of Waterloo with the taxi rank on the left hand side, the bicycle rank coming up on the right hand side passing one of the Red Arrow buses on Route 507 on the left. Route 507 which terminates at Waterloo Station. As does Route 211 with this Morris Master on the left. And here we are, back at Stop A at Waterloo Station, where we started our journey from half an hour ago. So here we are back at stop A at Waterloo, so hope you enjoyed this little journey around central London and if I don't see you before I shall say ta for the like. <laughs>